All right, now that we're all healed up, having had a nice rest, and we've saved, let's go kill one more monster so that we can get enough gold, gills, whatever, monies, so that we can buy uh, our final bit of equipment before we can finally progress through this video game. It's been... Wow, that, that new sword's really good, huh? I'm glad I chose to buy the sword first instead of the uh, instead of the armor. Saves us some time. We are now equipped. We're ready to fight stronger monsters. So let's do that. Go let us fight stronger monsters, video game. Please. Hey, look, the barrels are gone. We can finally move. I don't know what this village was called. I think it said it uh, when, you, when we entered it, but it doesn't matter. Forced fight? Oh no. Hey, that's a, that's a dead person at the bottom of the screen. Okay, we can one-shot these guys. Scathe them. They're just moles. Cool, they're all dead. And we got a lot of money. And we resurrected... Her. This woman. We can't say no. Karis. Is this supposed to be Ares? Or Eris? Or whatever the Final Fantasy VII character is? I assume so. We're basically uh, a hybrid between uh, Cloud and Link. So, I assume the woman is a play on is it Aerith? I can't remember. I don't know. I've never played Final Fantasy VII. The one that we all know may or may not make it through that game. That's the one. It's the one I'm talking about. I know. I know my video games. We need to find the crystal. Okay. We, let's let's do that. Let's find let's find the crystal. Let's do it. What's our name? Clink. Okay, there we go. So Cloud Link. I got it right. Cave monsters? No, I don't want to fight cave monsters. Ooh, that guy, uh, heal. Okay, cool. Miss. Great. 19 damage. That's unfortunate. Good thing we can take out the minions and then, I guess... Just hack at this guy and just heal with Karis. Because he does less damage to me than I heal. Okay, I feel like those guys are going to be annoying. But also I have to explore this path. Oh, there's nothing. Cool. Thanks, video game. So I feel like all of the battles from this point forward are just going to be... Clink attacking and Karis healing. Right? Makes sense to all of you? Certainly makes sense to me. It's probably gonna how I'm gonna play it. Nothing down that side either. I love this game. I love being led down paths that have nothing. And I know that's part of video game design, especially old video game design, but give me some collectible, please. I like collectibles. That's why I play video games, is to collect things. You know why I played Pokemon forever? Because I could collect things. Cobra Zero. We missed. I don't want to miss. Seven damage, okay. It's not that strong. Oh, and we can one-shot him anyway. Cool. 50 monies. Check all of the things. Potion. Sweet. That was uh, productive, actually. I thought about cutting out all of these battles, but ultimately I don't think there's going to be too many of them. And we're not grinding. We're just progressing through the game. As you just saw in the Pokemon Yellow playthrough... I'm, I'm not going to leave grinding in. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. But if it's natural battles in the in the progression of the game, let's do it. We'll keep them in. 
These ones don't take that long either, which is uh, part of the part of the good thing. They're uh, they're relatively short. The only ones that so far have been longer are the ones against the armored dude. Okay, left or right? Experience points. Oh, we can level up now. I I didn't I didn't even realize that was a thing we couldn't do before. Oh, we one shot of this dude last time. Oh, that's unfortunate. Stop making me miss, game. Let me kill the snake. It poses literally zero threat to me. Because it cannot do more damage than I can heal. So just let me one-shot it. 10? Why did I do 15 before? Okay, so it has exactly 15 health. Because we've now done 14 damage to it. And it would be nice if we could hit it. Come on, game. Come on, RNG. Don't do this to me. There we go. Why couldn't I have done that shot before? We're now level 2. Can I not get... Seriously? I can't... I can't get through those rocks. Okay. Came back here for nothing. See, that, that was so much easier game. So much better. Just let me do that all the time. You're gonna give us another branching path? Oh no, not two of them. Whatever will we do? We have full health, that's why I didn't heal there. We have 170 health, respectively. 20 damage. Ooh. Okay, I know that there's a chest down. Down. The Skaven also posed no threat. None of the random encounters in this game so far have posed any threat whatsoever. Starting to think it might be one of those games where we can just walk our way through it where it poses no challenge for the whole game in fairness that's a lot of video games even ones where you do die a decent amount sometimes don't really pose much of a threat I'm trying to think of an example but uh like platformers, where you just kind of instantly come back to back to life at a checkpoint, and you lose like maybe ten seconds of progress. I didn't really need to heal there, but I'll take a save point. That might mean a boss fight's coming up. That would be cool. I assume there are boss fights. Anything down here? Something happened somewhere. Okay, but where? Uh, I don't know. Cool, we got another card for the video or for the card game we're gonna probably have to play at some point. I mean, so far this game's been kind of cool, but uh, very, very basic. I know it has a sequel out that is one, significantly longer and B, I assume, more complicated, and more like a real game as opposed to just a send-up of games. Hey, a crystal. That's what we were coming for. We woke up the... Oh, okay, that's Kefka's ghost, is it? Okay, let's, let's kill Kefka's ghost. 24 damage, that's a good amount of damage. Is he gonna attack? <laughs> we unlocked the boss animation. He looks scarier now. He does. Okay, so we're gonna do like 20 damage. He's gonna do like 25, but he's gonna split it between two characters. It'll be fine. Oh, he's invisible? Okay, cool. Phantom counter? Ooh, that's not good. I don't have a weight option, though. How am I supposed to, like, not attack him, then? Because I don't, I don't have the option to not attack. I don't like that. I don't like that game. It's unfair, I think. 
wonder if I should have grinded more. I mean, I think I'm doing okay, but I don't know how much health he has. Oh, he's going invisible. I, I, there's nothing, like I could use a potion and heal one health, but I feel like that's a waste. Oh, he didn't, I thought, I thought it was an auto counter thing. No? Okay. Cool. Wait, can we kill him please? Death to Kafka's ghost? Still no? Okay. I don't remember what Kafka looks like. I don't know if this is... If the sprite looks anything like what Kafka looked like. I assume the mask is at least somewhat reminiscent, but... I couldn't tell ya. It's been... Years upon years since I played Final Fantasy VI. Really good game, though. I liked it a lot. Oh no, we got 3D mode. We have to get the Mines of Moria. I mean, Noria. Sorry, my bad. Okay. Neat. I don't, I don't know if I like this look, but okay. It's very basic. Oh yeah, now we got the Zelda hearts, like, for realsies, though. Now we won't die in one hit. That only happened a couple of times, but uh, it was still kind of annoying. So I'm not used to that. I'm used to being able to be bad at video games. Also, not really sure where I'm going. So, uh, let's just kind of follow the path. So we see stuff we can cut down. We're looking for mines. I don't know if this is the best way. Ooh, treasure. Okay, we would have got here anyway. I don't know if this looks better. It looks like more has happened, certainly, but... I don't, I don't know if it actually looks better. Like, it looks busier. It doesn't look... I like, I kind of like the clean aesthetic, though. It looked better than this. Okay, so we were already here, but there was stuff we couldn't get through, I presume. I don't really know. I don't know where we're going. I wish I had a map. That would be swell. I assume if we just keep going, we'll get there. Because I don't think we were here. Maybe we were. I could just be lost. That's one of the things that, uh prevented me from really wanting to play the NES Link game. Uh, no map. No clue where I was going. So I just wandered around the overworld for a bit, died a bunch, and then I kind of gave up. I think I made it 15, 20 minutes in. I just kind of wandered around for a bit. Oh, well this is a, a chest we, uh, we haven't seen before, so this must mean we're going the right way. camera zoom. <laughs> That's just gonna slow the game down, though. That's definitely a Zelda thing. I've seen that. I even referenced that in, uh... What game was it that I was playing? That had a had a Zelda reference. Oh yeah, it was Nier. Uh, Nier had a Zelda reference. Uh, when the... Actually, I don't even, I don't want to spoil it. I don't know when this is going up. I don't know when Nier is going up. Or more correctly, I don't know when that specific part of Nier is going up. But there is a reference to Zelda when a kid gets a mask. And it's clever. So watch, watch my Nier series. If you're watching this, if for some reason you decided, I don't want to, I don't want to watch the series of the big AAA game. I want to watch Evo Land. Okay, that looks better. The HD textures, those look good. Oh, hey, we're going the right way. Cool. Uh, you're, I'm going. I'm going as fast as I can. Ooh, that looks okay, actually. Um, but we're going to go to the mines on the next episode. <laughs>